Amen. Now, listen to this verse. The wind bloweth where it listeth, where it wants to. Thou hearest the sound thereof, but wind is invisible. But canst not tell whence it cometh, it's invisible. And whether it goeth, colon. He's tying this together. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit of God. Just like the wind. Yeah. Amen. I want to preach tonight on sunlight at sunset. Let's pray. Thank you, God. Oh, Lord. My Jesus, you are so good. You are above all, but yet you are in us. We give you the praise for being high and lifted up and your train filling the temple. And that we can say it is good to be in the house of the Lord. You have never forsaken the righteous. We've never had to beg for bread. You have been there. We love you, God. You are great and mighty. Meet every need in this house. We're asking these things that you minister to the people. Meet needs. In your name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. The Bible said in Luke 12, 48, For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. There's a saying that says, With great power comes responsibility. In 1809, Napoleon conquered Austria. Eight battles in four months along the river Danube. All the world was listening and watching what was going to happen to Austria. And as a nation fell, all the world was watching on. What they didn't know was in that same year, 1809, that Abraham Lincoln was born. Amen. There's always a sunlight, even though it is a sunset. Scientists say that every evening the sun down and every morning the sun rise, they resemble one or the other. If someone who has seen the whole day, they can say, hey, the sun is going down here. But if you've not seen the whole day, you might say, if you don't know your directions, well, the sun is rising or the sun is setting. There's always sunlight at sunset. But can we still see the sun rising when the sun is setting as far as this world and the economy and our times? Can there still be light in the evening time of the end time upon us? Are we standing on the banks of our day noob watching a nation fall apart? Watching the end approach? Watching the devil in high Z gear. Amen. Are we still busy? Amen. Seeing the birth and the blessing on a family. We need to recognize the sunrise mentality has got to be in the sunset society. Amen. I want that devil wondering every morning that I wake up, what is Terry Bowling going to do today? Amen. I want to tell you, as Christians, you will have God trouble before you ever have devil trouble. God is going to deal with you before that devil ever gets to you. We must be a threat to the enemy of our soul. The greatest light that you'll ever know will be that light that shines in the darkest night. Amen. The Bible said where sin abounds, grace does much more abound. The Bible said there shall be light 
in the evening time. And we're living in the evening time of the last days. And we must not be on the banks of the river witnessing defeat and depression and disease. We cannot hang our harp on the willow in this last day. Amen. We must be a part of the sunrise in the lives of people that are living in the sunset hour. This is the church. We are the church. This is our finest hour. We're not going down like the Titanic. We're going up, praise God. We're the church. It's time to turn your discouraged button off and say this is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. The Bible said the day spring from on high hath visited us to give light to them that sit in darkness. Can you say amen? amen. You ever been there? Shall we have? We're at high noon, but we're in the dark. Ever been there having a senior moment, but you're 30 years old? Yes. Amen. Ever been there driving to work in a daze? Don't even know how you got there? Amen. Have you been there forgetting important things? There is no one here tonight that has a circumstance that God cannot take care of. There's nobody sitting here tonight that cannot make a difference around your life. You still matter in the big picture of God. Say amen. amen. The wind bloweth where it listeth. That word listeth means prefers or chooses. The wind blowing is an unspeakable unseen power. It affects land and sea. There's nothing beyond the power of wind. It moves as a current horizontally across the earth. Hurricanes over 200 miles an hour. Tornadoes over 300 miles an hour. The mystery of wind is you don't know what it's going to do. Hallelujah. He said that's how we that are born of the Spirit are going to be. Though we don't know what we're going to do. Holy Ghost can hit you and anything can happen. No man can control the wind. It cannot be quarantined. It cannot be stopped. It cannot be held. It cannot back up. It cannot be boxed. Did you know God said that's how the church is going to be? Amen. The first talking of the Holy Ghost was not fire because fire can burn out. The first mentioning of the Holy Ghost was not oil because oil can lose its velocity. The first mention of the Spirit of God was not water because water can evaporate. The first mentioning and comparison of the Holy Ghost was wind because wind blows where it wants to blow great God. We can blow right into Africa. We can blow right into Australia. Amen. Missionaries, people of God, tell them the story. Sing them the song. Acts 2, 4 and forward. The sound from heaven as of a rushing and a mighty wind. We can pray and pow, the Holy Ghost can tear us up and make something out of us. Amen. Amen. Odessa, Texas, a five-year-old girl got the Holy Ghost. There were some Boston College professors that were visiting the revival. When one of them had fluent speaking of French, he said, that girl is speaking fluent French. Well, we 
where is she from? He, he said she's never been out of the state of Texas. Hey, Amen. They said a five-year-old has allowed the Holy Ghost to teach us the real power and presence of Him. At the day of Pentecost, 17 represented nations heard them speak with tongues. It's real. It's real. I know. I know it's real. For whosoever, it is a seal and a sign. And tongues are still the evidence of it. He may come like a balmy zephyr. He may come as a cool, still mood. He may be F-O or he may be five, F-5 five in experience. He may come slow. He may come fast. But I'll tell you what. No matter what level he comes, he cannot be stopped. We're the church. My God. And the wind of the Spirit cannot be held at bay. Fire never stopped the church. The Red Sea never stopped the church. Whales never stopped the church. Walls, jails, prisons, rivers, shackles, nothing stopped the church. And I want to tell you right now that Obama ain't going to stop the church. And the government is not going to stop the church. Amen. The neighbor can't change it. The Bible said the wind bloweth where it listeth. Where we want to be. Amen. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. If you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, there is nothing in this world that can stop you. You cannot be breaked or held captive. The only thing that can stop you is you. Amen. There's nothing else that can stop you. David, the Bible said, he danced before the Lord with all of his might. He never did anything with all of his might. Not even the sword, not in politics, not in power. The only thing he did with all of his might was dance before the Lord. And you know what, folks? It is a sad day when people without the real truth can out-worship folks that claim to have the whole truth. Only thing that makes a champion is a defeated enemy. The devil don't have nothing on us but his eyes. You can't be right with God if you're not right with the Holy Ghost. I'm not going to share my time with the enemy and allow the devil to have control and be comfortable in my presence. Praise God. If we can clap. My God, why can't we dance? Tell me what the difference is in this and this. Tradition. Just tradition. That's it. We don't think we ought to do that unless we're running 99 miles an hour on a song. I want to tell you something. You can dance before the Lord anytime you want to. There ain't a thing charismatic about it. Not one thing. We have this power before the charismatics ever got up here. Amen. Amen. Our grandmas have this and grandpas before they ever have this and claim this. My God, we can tell the devil off and we can get a hold of the glory world and we can shout it in the face of the devil. I shall not be, I shall not be moved. Can you say me? Uncle Smokey the Bear said, only you prevent Holy Ghost power. <laughs> Amen. Church in another country. Preacher I know was preaching over there. Hundreds of people. There was a bell right here. Ding, 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 ding. The preacher asked him, said, what's that bell for? He said, well, that bell's for to stop everybody from worshiping so they can go on with the service. My God. Ain't no such thing in America. I say there ain't no such thing in America. We need a bell to get us to praise. We need a bell to get us to glorify God. And when they started praising, he said the only thing stopped them was that bell. 
Amen. And you see, they were so dedicated to worship and praise to God. They didn't let everything around their life the whole day clutter them up and distort them up. Ah, God. Amen. I was at a church, and I mean, at five till seven. Amen. Everybody got up the first night. Everybody got up. And the, that was the choir, I mean. They got up, and when that choir got up, the praise started going. They did that every night. Amen. Five or ten minutes before the service started, it already started. They worshiped God. Till that choir got to singing, and they kept worshiping God. We've got to get back to Mashatanamah if we don't get back to worship and true praise the devil's going to mock us out we need the Holy Ghost filled move up God that will say all I can do today was worship and glorify God I need to get back to where that's at hallelujah 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 I ain't being mean here, but I've got five revivals scheduled this year, Sunday through Wednesday. They can't get them to come out on Thursday and Friday. What's going on? I'll go. Pay me. I'll go. My, my. But I want to tell you something. I'm not going to give in to that devil. I'm not going to give in to that. Well, watch two more nights. Well, I don't know. There's just something about it. There's just something about going a little further like that. Amen. Until it's still to give the devil the chance. Amen. One fellow said, I'll fly you out here to California. I want you to come preach Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday, Sunday morning, Sunday night. That's the revival. I didn't go. I just didn't feel it. I just didn't feel it. Amen. Oh, Acts 1 and 8, ye shall receive power. That means dunamis in the Greek. That means authority. You shall receive authority. Amen. We need some authority of the Spirit of God to come back upon us. Amen. 1982, they put what they call the silver bullet can uh, canister bomb. They got up in a high and they dropped it down into a, a hurricane hoping to stop it. Didn't do a thing to that hurricane. It just got bigger. Hell's got that silver bullet canister and he's trying to drop it down in our brain and in our services. Trying to stop. Amen. Another. What well, we need to give that devil's another cyclone fit. We need to give that devil another holy Ghost told down worship. Amen. We're unstoppable. As the wind bloweth where it wants to, so is everybody that's born of the Spirit. You can stop your car and get out by the side of the road and shout for the glory of God. Amen. I believe I'll just dance a little bit. I don't need the piano going and the singing. I believe I'll just dance a little bit. What am I doing? I'm trying to worship God. I'm trying to be open to what he wants me to do. Who? Oh, Jesus. God don't lose. Nothing surprises him. Nothing scares him. Nothing overwhelms him. He's God. On the platform back at the door, God. And the amen corner, God, all over this floor. Amen. He puts the devil in the backside of hell. Dial in 911 with one hand and a bottle of Maalox in the other hand. Say amen. Amen. We need to be a sunlight at the sun setting and going on for the Lord. Amen. I love the scripture right here. I'm going to read it to you. Isaiah 40, 28. Hast thou known? Hast thou not heard? That the everlasting God, the Lord of the creator of the ends of the earth. Amen. Faineth not. Neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. And them that have no might. He increaseth strength. 
talking about my God, talking about my almighty God. God is still in business. We don't need G.I. Joe, Rambo, or Batman. We've already got the God man that can do anything. And he said anywhere you're at, amen. Egypt was military force. They took Israel for centuries in slavery. Amen. But if you could have asked God, how are you going to get them out of that four years of century? God says, flies. What? Oh, yeah, I'm going to bring some flies down. I'll bring a few frogs. Little lice. Oh, my God. We would think, what in the world are you talking about? That's the way God is. He blows where he listens, does what he wants. And he said, that's the way the church is. The church can be just like that. Amen. You are not a victim. You are a victor. You are not drugs. Amen. Control. You are not alcohol. Run. You're the church. Say amen. 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 Woman went to the doctor. The doctor said, uh, You've got a cold from kissing somebody. She couldn't wait to get home to tell her husband. Well, he come in the door from work. She said, you ain't going to believe this. I've got a cold from kissing. He looked at her and said, I ain't had a cold in 15 years. Whew. Don't get in trouble. <laughs> oh, my. Suspicion had set in. Isaiah says, God never faints, never weary. Some of you didn't get your feeling. Amen. From kissing God, come on here. You are messing with something else. You are out doing what you shouldn't be doing. Maybe some of you, when your companion goes to bed, you're on the computer passing the red flag. Ah, help me, Jesus. You don't get sick having a bad day because God don't have bad days. Only downtime that God had when he sent Jesus down there to hell. Amen. Dehorned the devil. Slapped him around. Amen. I kind of think he tied his tail in a bow knot and kicked his carcass back in the pit and snatched the keys right out of his hand. Can I tell the devil don't even have the keys to his own house cause Jesus took them praise God there is victory in the Lord it's time to put the whipping on the devil hook up with an everlasting God the Lord of creation who fainteth not and never is weary that's who we got When I was pastor in Fort Worth, Texas, I read in the paper where a man was walking from Burnett, Texas to Johnson City. That's, that's 10 miles. He sees a movement in the grass and goes over there to examine. It's a coral snake and they are deadly. And that man got bit by that coral snake and he quickly pulled that snake off his hand with his other hand. And he bit the head of that snake off immediately. Used it for a tourniquet. And put it on him. Where that poison would not flow all the way up through his arm. Amen. And walked right on to Johnson City. Walked right to the hospital. Walked into the emergency room. And he told this story to the doctor. And he couldn't hardly believe that. And the doctor said, look... Why did you keep on walking all the way here to Johnson City? Amen. He said, I had some folks and relatives I wanted to visit. He never did get the message. Amen. But I want to tell you something. When that devil starts coming around you and talking to you and sitting on your shoulder and slithering around you, just grab him and bite his head off. Amen. Spit it out and say, I'm going on to see my relatives. I'm heaven bound. I'm not backing up. I'm not turning back I'm going to that celestial city Where the Lamb is the light thereof I'm going to that place Where he's making for me Where my Savior is Can you save him? Praise God You got two options 
when you get knocked down. Give up or get up. Hey, Amen. It's time to get up. Bury the hatchet. Take that invisible chip on your shoulder and get rid of it. Hey, man, arise out of the slum that the devil's trying to put you in. Say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are sunlight at the sunset. Let me give you the illustration. The illustration means it's not totally true. It's just a story. Boy from Alabama had an ugly dog. Yellow, long nose, beady eyes, short legs, tail cut off. His family moved up north, up there around New Jersey. He took that dog to the school ground. There was a gang there. They said, look, you're new here. Said, I want you to join our gang. He said, no, I don't join a gang. I'm, I'm from the south. I don't join no gang. They said, you better join. He said, if you don't, I'm going to bring my big vicious German shepherd and eat that little ugly dog of yours up. He said, oh, I don't want you to do that, but uh, I'm not joining. Come back the next day, he had that little dog with him, yellow, ugly, long nose, beady eyed, short leg, tail cut off. Hey, man, that gang had his German shepherd there. He said, everybody back up. He said, I'm going to let him loose. Are you going to join our gang? No, no, no. He said, all right. He let that German shepherd loose. He went around that ugly yellow dog three times. Then he went in for the kill. When he did, that little long nose, beady eyed, short legged yellow dog just got him by the throat and just whoop, killed him dead right there. Hey, man, that game leader said, Man, what kind of dog is that? He said, Well, before we cut his tail off and painted him yellow, he was an alligator. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. There's sometimes you just got to have wisdom. There's just sometimes you got to do something. Hey, man, that you know is going to work. Hallelujah. We need to cut that devil's head off. We need to put our foot on his neck. Amen. We need to make him cry, Uncle. We're in the sunlight at the midnight hour, at the sunset. I'm telling somebody, you can overcome. You can receive your blessing. I'm trying to tell somebody, you can reach your goal and you can get that healing. Hey Amen. We're fighting the devil on different fronts. He's coming at different angles. Hey Amen. We can't surrender. We can't stop. We can't play possum. We can't roll over like roll of the dog. Great God, we got to say, I'm going to do what it takes to make it. Help me with a song tonight. Hey, Amen. I'm going to make it. Hallelujah. We let that devil push us around. We got the Holy Ghost. We let that devil get us in a nervous breakdown and we got the Holy Ghost. How's that happen? Because we're human beings and we give in to that rascal. He does what he's allowed to do. I told you earlier, nothing negative comes your way that doesn't first pass the desk of God of approval. And that architectural heavenly room God designs things for our life to go through so we can have a testimony and somebody else can be blessed. Amen. Let me give you a true gator story. Florida. Ten year old boy playing in the backyard and I know all about this gator business. I've been parked down there uh, churches take you sometimes put your RV parks. Man, we was there a, a couple of times at a park, 17 foot gator and a 14 foot, and they came out every day right out of the pond. Right? And they said, Look, if you got dogs, you better have a short leash walking around here. Amen. 
this gator came up in the backyard, got this 10-year-old boy right in here. Mama heard him scream, and she ran, and she grabbed a baseball bat. She started beating on that gator and beating it. Finally, after several times of beating that gator, it released that boy, and it went on off. They took that boy to the hospital. Ten days. He was dying and living. Living and dying. Finally after ten days. He got to where he was going to make it. The doctor came in to him and told him. said Scotty. I've already checked you again. And I think I can let you go home in a few days. He said, what about the scars, doctor? He said, what do you mean? He said, well, I've got bad scars and I've got good scars. Doctor said, what are you talking about, Scotty? He said, well, the two kinds I've got, good and bad. said, the bad one is where that gator had me. said, but the good one is where the mama pulled me out of his mouth. Amen. Praise God. Listen. We can get misdirected. Play softly. We can get misdirected by scars that we get in church and at home and places of our life. And we can get distorted and get troubled. And, and things can be just turning us upside down. But listen, the downers are not times where you need to give up. That's the time you need to say, it's inspiring me. I'm pulling through this thing. I'm coming out of here. We've all had our gator scars. Amen. Because they heal up. We are born of the Spirit. And the only thing that can stop us is us. Nothing around us can supersede see the blood of Jesus nothing can cross the bloodline of the son of God but if you give in and you abandon what God is listen you can excel you can rise on we can't give away on our feet what others have won on their knees for us of our past the devil can't even keep Jesus dead amen he arose on the third day hell got an ex-choir leader called Lucifer. But the church has got the sun S-O-N even at sunset we're alive and well in the Lord. Amen. Let's stand to our feet right now my God. Thank you Lord. You are so great. You are so mighty. Amen. Sing it for me brother. Oh, listen to me, church. You can be that sunlight no matter the situation. God has never lost a battle. Never given up. Never threw us against the curb. Never throw us under the truck. God is a mighty God. Raise your hands and praise the Lord. Sing it for me. Oh. Oh! 